James chapter 1. Yaakob, a bondservant of God and of the Lord Yeshua anointed to the twelve tribes which are of the dispersion. Greeting. Count it all joy, my brothers, when ye fall into manifold tests, knowing that the proving of your faith worketh hopeful perseverance. And let hopeful perseverance have its perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, lacking in nothing. But if any one of you lacketh wisdom, let him be asking from the God, giving liberally to all and not reproaching. And to him it shall be given. But let him ask in faith, nothing doubting. For he that doubteth is like a surge of a sea, driven by the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-souled man, unstable in all his ways. But let the brother of low degree glory in his high estate, and the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. For the sun ariseth with the scorching wind, and withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth. And the good eminence of its face perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his goings. Blessed is the man that endureth testing. For when he hath, a, when he hath been approved, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord promised to them that mindfully love him. Let no one say, when he is tested, I am tested from God. For the God is without test of evil things, and he himself tests no one by luring towards sin. But each man is tested when he is drawn away by his own desire and enticed. Then the desire when it hath conceived, beareth sin, and the sin, when it is full grown, bringeth forth death. Be not deceived, my beloved brothers. Every good and perfect, every good and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there can be no variation. With whom can be no variation, neither shadow that is cast by turning. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of firstfruits of his creatures. Be ye knowing this, my beloved brothers, but let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, Slow to wrath, for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, putting away all filthiness and overflowing of wickedness, receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deluding your own selves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in a mirror, for he beholdeth himself and goeth away, and immediately forgetteth what manner of man he was. But he that looketh into a perfect law, the law of the freedom, and so continueth, 
being not a hearer that forgetteth, but a doer that worketh, this man shall be blessed in his doing. If any man thinketh himself to be religious, while he bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion, and undefiled before our God and Father, is this, to be visiting the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to be keeping oneself unspotted from the world. <laughs>